In this session, we try to understand how do you take input to your Java program. So far, we tried understanding how do we take the data for primitives. For example, suppose you want to take age as a data. So we created byte age is equal to 50. Or similarly, for marks, we took short marks is equal to 300 or something like that. But what actually happens is whenever you run this program, all the time the age value is going to be 50 or all the time the marks value is going to be 300. So that is not the case in real time, right? So whenever you are writing a program to perform certain kind of operations on the data, so it is very important that the data has to be supplied to the program. So that's why every program will have an input which takes the data as an input to the program and process the data and produce the output. So every program will have an input and then output. So, so far that input we're giving within the program, but that is not the case all the time. So you have to take this data as an input from the user. Hey, thanks for watching our content so far. If you're new to Training Mark, we're the fastest growing technology training company and create content to help freshers like you to master the disruptive technologies like full stack development, AML, cloud, DevOps, etc. If you like the content so far, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon not to miss any new content from us. Like and share this video with all your friends. Let's build your career and the community together. So every programming language supports how to take the data as an input. So like Java also supports different ways of taking input from the user. So taking input in Java is not a straightforward functionality. It requires certain kind of a complexity involved. You need to understand few things before actually using those particular functionality. But it is very important as a beginner to know how to take the input to the Java program. So that's why we're discussing this even though there is certain kind of concept involved in it. So Java basically uses two ways to take the input. So one is by using buffer reader class and second one is by using scanner class. So scanner class is a very simple way for taking an input to your Java program. So you'll understand these classes. What are these classes like scanner or buffer reader very in detail when we move into our advanced concepts or advanced courses. But at this moment, you don't need to worry how they'll function or what is the concept of using this behind. So there are two ways to take an input to your Java program using scanner class and using buffer reader class. So we'll understand how do you take the input using scanner in these codes or how do you take the data or primitives as an input to your program to understand the further concepts better. 